welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious batch of date turnovers. And these date turnovers is also known as old-fashioned date-filled cookies. And this recipe today is a viewer's request. Thank you, Karen, for sending it. And also, we're trying to get to each and every one of our viewer's requests. We've got so many. We thank you for each and every one of them. So if you have already sent in a request, keep watching. Yours may come up, come up next. So what we'll do now is get started making these delicious date turnovers. So I won't tell you the ingredients all at front. I will tell it to you as we go. But we'll start first with getting the dates um, cooked in the pot. And I'll tell you each ingredient as it goes in. So for these delicious date turnovers, we need a date filling. And pretty much the same as what you would make if you are doing a date crumble. I had some done in advance. My pot there is steaming already and I got to let it cool so as we can get it put in uh, to our date turnovers. So one cup of pitted dates. And then we're going to need a half a cup of water and a half a cup of sugar. You could use white or you could use brown. It's entirely up to you. We're going to be using as well a tablespoon full of butter, but not until it's all cooked. So put it in there like this, stir it around, and get it boiling until it starts to condense. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my dates to condense, like I was saying, I already made some in advance because I wanted for that to be at room temperature or cold. And after we cook this, I won't be able to use it for a little bit. So what we'll do now is um, make our uh, batter for the turnover part. So we'll start with our butter and sugar getting that creamed up. So that's a half a cup of butter. Just put that on into your bowl with a half a cup of brown sugar. So you can also use margarine if you don't have access to butter. And then what I'm going to do is just crush this up first and then we're going to cream this together having a little check on our dates and this is coming along so pretty much what we're doing here now is letting these pitted dates break down and condense so just make sure that you got uh, the butter and the sugar blended together well and if the butter is at room temperature you just make sure it's nice and creamy so what we're going to do now I'm going to reach for my flour and for my uh, roll oats and I'll tell you how much that is so what we're going to do now is sift in one and a half cups of flour and flour of choice. And then we're going to put in a quarter of a teaspoonful of baking soda and a half a teaspoonful of sea salt. And we're just going to sift it on into our butter and sugar. So that's all you need to do with that. So after you've sifted in those ingredients, we're going to be putting in one and a quarter cup of oats, roll oats, or you can have the gra grained ones that sifted really good, or you can have the old white oats, and mix that around. So before we get back to our batter, I'm going to show you the the dates and so this is coming along good and we're going to be putting one tablespoon full of butter in with it and mix that around and then turn the heat off put it into a container and lodge it in your fridge to get it at I guess room temperature okay so after you get all the ingredients mixed in you could mix in anywhere from four to eight tablespoonfuls of uh, water or milk. Put in four first, work that in, and then add in gradually as you go. So after you put in the amount of water that you need for your dough, and saying that if you're using um, one of those uh, mixers, uh, I guess KitchenAids, it may blend together quicker. With four, you may need a little bit more, up to eight tablespoonfuls of water or milk and I'll show you what it looks like. 
So after you've formed a ball like this, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the fridge and let the ball call a little bit, get the butter call. And then we're going to put our dates in there as well. And meet me back here and we'll form these out and make these date turnovers. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen. So what I'm going to do now is reach for my dough and my filling, my date filling, and we'll show you what's next. Okay, so date there. This is our dough. I'm just going to take half of this right now. I'm going to show you. I'm going to roll it out and I'll tell you how thick. Okay, so I'm just going to cut mine in half first. Now you can do it all at once. This is pretty much all it looks like on the inside. I'm going to put half of it to the side. You can make all of your cutouts first. And when I say cutouts, uh, your cookie cutter or a glass, but two, two and a half inches, so that you can cut out the pieces to make the turnover. So what we're going to do now is roll out th this batter with a little dusting of flour to about one eighth of an inch. Now these are delicious date turnovers and again old-fashioned date filling cookies they they are called in places as well but today we're just going to call them date turnovers and I'm going to show you how to make them. So just pretty much almost finished rolling this out. So what I'm going to do first I'm going to cut out um, all of these first and then we can fill them and put them into the oven and I'll tell you what all that is about but it, what you should do first and that way you won't have too many things on the go is cut all of these out in advance. So I'm just going to put them there on that plate just to get them out of the way for now and then what I'll do is start filling a couple now I'll show you what that looks like. So what we're going to do next now is pull in our dates and take just about, well maybe a teaspoonful or a half a teaspoonful of dates, depending on the size of these delicious turnovers you're going to make. And then after you put that into there, I don't want to put too much because it'll squirt out over, we're going to fold them and I'll show you that as well. So pretty much what you're going to do is fold them like this, pushing the, the filling in and then flipping them over, taking your fork and going like this around it. So again, another one, you're just going to fold them like that and use your fork to make the indent, taking any date off, putting it over with your date and indent around just to make that fork. Um, mark around the, the outside and that keeps your date in and then we'll put that to the side. So I'll do one more while you're, you're watching there and go around like that. And they're just nice bite size date turnovers. Okay, these are so easy to make. And as you can see, they could be fun. It could be fun for your kids if you want your kids or your grandkids to help you. And after you make them, like they're little turnovers, great for snacks, kids' lunches, very healthy. So what I'm doing here now is just finishing the last batch that I aft. I want to fill those and then I'll tell you how long to leave them in the oven. And we'll do that. Okay, so I'm about ready to put mine in the, in the oven. So it's going to be a 350 degree preheated oven for 15 minutes or until golden brown, depending on your oven. It could even be less. So I'm going to put mine in there now and they make about 30 uh, date turnovers, depending on the size. Right now, as you can see, ours is just bite size um, date turnovers. Okay, meet me back here when they're baked and I'll show you what they look like. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Our date turnovers is ready, so now I'm going to take them out of the oven. They look and smell absolutely delicious. So now let's scoop up some and show you what it looks like on the inside. 
Now just look at these delicious little date turnovers. And they're done nice on the bottom and they're soft on top. So I'm going to put them over to the side and I'm going to put a few on the tray to cool. You can serve these hot or you can serve them cold. Whichever way you want to, to have them. I can't wait to have a taste of these little date turnovers, but I know they're going to be hot. So I'm just going to pour up a cup of tea here now. And then I'm going to break one in half and show you what it looks like. See, I can see these in the lunchbox, taking the kids taking them to school. And just look, it's got lots of filling on the inside, just enough. And now what I'm going to do is have a little taste. That's right after I grab mine. Ah, okay. See, Rem's always stealing oh, from this sure stable. Oh, yeah. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. It's got a nice soft texture. And the filling, of course, is just peeking right out through. And the date taste is absolutely delicious and not too sweet. I'm going to have a little taste of my tea. I got to thank uh, Karen for sharing uh, this recipe with us. They're absolutely delicious and I can't wait to share them. So thank you again once uh, again for sharing that with us and everybody else that got their recipes sent. We're hoping to get to each and every one of them. So if you haven't had pitted dates before in any recipe, you can also check out Bonita's Kitchen for date crumbles. But this is as good as it gets, a nice um, dessert with a cup of tea and share with your family and friends. They'll love it. And as well, if you want the recipe for this delicious date turnovers, you can get it right in under this video. And it also got a subscribe button. If you haven't already done so, please do. Subscribe to our channel and every time we post a new video, you will get a notification. And don't forget, you can also visit us on our Facebook page, send us a message on www.bonitaskitchen.com or just here on YouTube. Thank you for joining us once again today for Bonitas Kitchen. From our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day.